All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, install some tie downs or some tie down anchors on an ATV trailer. And I bought them at Harbor Freight, and I'll show you what they look like. So these are the um, Hallmaster D ring anchors I'm going to install on my ATV trailer. The problem is um, with this trailer is it has a couple of tie down points, one here and here in the back. But when you're traveling, the straps wear on this sharp edge. And I don't have like an anchor right under the grab bar on this ATV. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount these uh, D-ring anchors right underneath the grab bar. So when we go to tie the machine down, I've got an anchor point in the front. And the front bumper mounts right to it. And then in the back, we're going to do the same. We're going to create on both sides. Uh, we have two machines. So I'm going to put two anchors in right through the wood. And what we did, what, I'm, what I did is I bought um, four carriage bolts that go through the holes in the, in the anchors. And uh, you can notice that there's a square part that'll fit right in the square hole. Um, when drilling like through wood, get yourself some good sized washers to prevent the bolts from ripping through the wood. So make sure there's enough meat on them. And get some lock washers. And last but not least, you're going to want to get yourself a package of nuts to secure everything down properly. So we're going to get started by drilling um, a hole in the wood and uh, we'll get started on the process of this. Alright, so the first thing you, you're going to want to do is look at um, the way your grab bar sticks on the back and place the D anchor ring right below it. Uh, find a good spot on the wood which is pretty much directly under the grab bar or maybe even slightly out a little bit and the second thing you're going to want to do before you drill is to go under the trailer and make sure that there's no wires or any metal or anything that you're going to screw through also uh, it's always wise to double check so there isn't on this trailer and it should be a direct um, through, drill through process all right so i'm going to get my drill and drill a couple holes Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one bolt through so that doesn't move around. Chill it out a little bit more. So that's, that one's in. And now, make sure that's straight. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the drill bit is um, about the same size as the bolt that you're putting through. This one's really close, so it fits nice and snug. goes. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go underneath and we're going to put the washers on and nuts and bolts. Alright, so I have my socket set up and the carriage bolts are already in place and I matched up my nut, my washer and my lock washer. Before you climb under the trailer, make sure that the vehicles and park if it's connected to a truck or something make sure that if your ATV is loaded that it is in park and secure and make sure the tilt bed trailer can't tilt while you're under it uh, and another good thing to do is to chuck the tires so that it doesn't roll at all uh, in other words make sure everything's secure and safe before you go underneath the trailer so now I'm gonna go underneath and zap this all together so here are the two bolts that are poking through and I'm gonna put the washer on first That. It's a little to do holding the camera plus. <laughs> Alright. And last thing you gotta do is put the nut on. See, 
if I can do this. All right, so we have that caught and turn this on by hand. And then again, what this washer does is it allows these bolts not to poke through because you're adding some more area. So that's something to pull on when you tie your machine down. And I'm gonna put the other one on. All right, so now we can tighten these up. You kinda wanna make sure you tighten them down evenly. So we kinda go back and forth. That should be it. Now your bolts are on and those that D-ring um, tie down is nice and secure. And to tie it down you can see what the machine looks like all hooked up. Alright so when you're all done and loaded up uh, this is what it looks like with your ATV loaded on the tilt bed trailer and you can see the new anchor point right down there uh, that we bought at Harbor Freight. It works awesome and it should keep the machine a lot more secure. Hope you liked the video please subscribe to our channel.